Hey everyone, Kyle Mike here from MLive.com, joined as always by Justin Rogers. We've spent the past month uh, playing dad or uh, cavorting around South America, in my case. Um, we've been back to work for all of about two hours, Justin, and already we have a trade to talk about. Uh, line shipping Mohamed Cisse, a cornerback, to the Seahawks for a sixth round pick in 2016. Cisse wasn't expected to have a, a real prominent role this year, but he was expected to, to compete for those final jobs, uh, perhaps at, at the nickel, um, one of the big uh, job battles for the Lions going into camp. Um, but the Lions have talked extensively this offseason, Justin, about the importance of, of getting draft picks and acquiring draft picks. And, and they already have those three comp picks coming their way, possibly three with Sue and, and Fairley and so forth, uh, leaving in free agency. What's your what's your uh, take on the on the trade today? Yeah, they, they gave up a draft pick in, in the trade to move up to Gabe Wright, but now they've picked up two draft picks, uh, both in the trade back with Denver in the first round. Um, and, and the trade today, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think they'll probably get two comp picks. I guess a third is possible with the yep. players they lost, but uh, Sue and Fairley could bring back a third and maybe up to a fifth rounder, depending on how Fairley plays this year. And yeah, stockpiling. And, and you look at the the history of you know good teams around the NFL, and, and I think the Patriots are the prime example. Year in and year out during those early stages of their championship run, they just would enter the draft with 10, 12 mm -hmm. picks, and you know, and they would always be trading mm. back and picking up more picks. It gives you flexibility, ammunition to move around in the draft more than anything. But it's such a crapshoot. It you know after rounds you know two really you know those players are are you know fifty fifty propositions and continue to drop down to maybe you know ten fifteen percent likelihood of working out in the seventh round. You just give yourself more opportunities to to find gems yeah. in those later rounds, and that's what Martin Mayhew is doing. You know, we talked to Jim Caldwell today, and, and he was talking about how. Uh, you know, with the schedule and as tough as it is, he was talking about how well this is just life in the NFL. If you're a good team, and this is what you want is you have, you know, if you're if you're a good team and you win games, you're gonna have a tougher schedule, and this is just something you have to do. I, I see this as another mark of the, of the Lions kind of maybe turning a corner a little bit as a as a uh, franchise because for a long time they were the team that were that were shipping away draft picks to acquire guys who could play right away, aging veterans or or whatever, but guys who could play right away because they had no talent. Right now they have. They have some depth. They have some depth at cornerback and at various places. They can ship guys like this away and, and, and pick up the draft picks and do the things that good teams do, which is which is draft players and have more opportunities in the draft to, to improve your club that way, which is cheaper and easier and you get players for longer term. Um, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a minor move, but yeah, it's just another uh, signpost, I think, of a team that's um, turning turning a corner, at least progressing as a franchise. Yeah, there, there's some inherent risk in dealing Cissé. You know, I think he was a, a decent young player, fringe roster guy. If, if the Lions come out of training camp healthy with, with the cornerbacks they have now, I, I, I don't think Cissé makes the roster, but... There, that's always an if, you know. Yeah. It, what if Rasheen Mathis gets hurt, Darius Slay gets hurt, or Alex yeah. Carter gets hurt? You don't want to think about mm -hmm. those things, but it's the reality of a very violent game with, you know, violent collisions that you know anything could happen. And if they do that, they're leaving themselves a little mm -hmm. short-handed with with depth, with guys that know systems. There's going to be other guys cut around the league. You're going to be able to you know find a veteran in that case, but. Um, you know, it's always hard to let young talent go. He had, you know, intriguing measurables. He got some playing time last year, uh, but but I do like the fact that they got a six rounder for him i think that's a good bargain i think they got that little bump in value because they were willing to make the deal before training camp let cc yeah. get into seattle early uh, I, and I, I like it as well i like the, the the pickup with the draft pick but i think i like it for another reason too which is i see it as some some element or some measure of vote of confidence in the guys they do have particularly the nickel they don't have a determined starter there um, and yet, at this point, they felt comfortable enough dealing a guy who could play that position, at least as a depth guy, um, and going with Quandre Diggs, the rookie, and Josh Wilson, and the other options they have, Neville, Evan Lawson, um, competing for that uh, that nickel job. I, I think the Lions like their options there, and um, you know they may not have a starter, but I think they're in good shape, provided they they stay healthy and equally confident. Alex Carter on the outside. Yeah. I mean, he's yeah. he's. I don't think he's going to play nickel. I don't think he's going to. No, play no, no. Nickel. He's yeah. clearly yeah. establishes that third guy on the outside, which is where C. Mm -hmm. St. Would have probably been fighting for a job more yeah. as, as as that six two you know big big heavy hitter, yeah. um, you know. But uh, just going back one more time to stockpile picks, you look at Green Bay in the yeah. NFC North, and that roster top to bottom almost always is just constructed of of guys they've drafted, and and I just think Mayhew's slowly learning lessons. You know how to construct yeah. winners. You study winners. They've talked about in their, their history. They want to be like Pittsburgh. They want to be like Green Bay. Uh, they want to be like New yeah. England. And, and you have to follow the trends they set. And, and this is a really good trend to, to follow is, yeah. is stockpiling young talent. 
that's what we got. Nothing like hitting the ground running. Um, training sure. camp hasn't even started yet, and we've already got a trade going down. Um, lines do hit the practice field for the first time at 3.30 p.m. on Monday. We'll be here for that. It's a, that's a closed practice to the public. Lines will open up training camp on Tuesday to the public. But we'll be here on, on Monday for the start of everything. So keep it right here at MLive. Uh, for Justin Rogers, I'm Kyle Mikey.